Today we're working on a 1998 Toyota Camry. Um, somebody told him that his engine was messed up and it has a rod knock. Well, it does not have a rod knock. It's got an antifreeze leak. And what's leaking is the water pump. And the water pump's worn out, so it's making all kinds of racket. But if you check your antifreeze and look under your car and it's not full, then you probably have a water pump that's gone out. This one has 200 and some thousand miles on it. So we're going to replace the water pump when we get in there. You're going to need something to pull the harmonic balancers. You can also use that to pull the harmonic balancer off. And you need a marking pen to mark your top dead center. And there's got to be a position on the keyway. So I'll show you that if I can figure that out. And you need gasket maker for the water pump gasket. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the negative battery terminal because the alternator's got to come off in order to be able to access the water pumps down in there under the timing cover runs off the timing belt. And this kit comes with the new belt, water pump, and all that. You got to loosen this. This is the set screw for the tensioner on the belt. And then you unscrew this one to let the belt back in. And then there's a pivot over here on the other side that you need to loosen in order to let it fulcrum on what that What would one. that be, a 9 16? All right, so that one's a 13. And you just need to loosen that one to get the tension off the belt. There you go. That loosens the alternator. So we just need to loosen the alternator or do we have to take it off? Well, we're probably going to take it off. That's your timing mark on the timing cover. Now we got to turn the harmonic balancer so that we can get the notch on it lined up. And then we're going to mark it with a white pen so that we can see it easily. So this is a 19 millimeter. We're going to turn this until we see the timing mark. There it is right there. That little notch right there has to be lined up with that zero. All right, so I'm coloring this notch. Then you color, color the top. And then I'm going to wipe it off, and just the notch will stay in place. See, that's more definite now. And that's what's got to be lined up with the mark on the timing cover. Alright, so right now, you'll notice that the pulley... My guy up there is telling me I'm too far. How far? Oh, right oh, there? Boy. All right, so you'll notice that this pulley... There, you're, do I need to look at it, or are you real close? You probably ought to look at it, because... Am I, I forward or backward? you got to go to your left, but I mean, it's just microscopic. Whoa, 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 you're right there. Okay, now, you'll notice where this pulley is. you got the pulley holes right here, and this one's pointing down to the left. So that's basically where you got to be. Now we've got to disconnect the... Get the pulley off of there. But in order to do that, we're gonna move our timing mark. So we gotta make sure we reset it before we take it all apart. Okay, so that's not right on it, but uh -huh. we'll get there. All right, we're gonna, this right here is the, the set for the tension on the power steering belt. So in order to get this off, I had to put a strap on it, put some sandpaper in there, but then we had to use an impact wrench anyway. This happened to do the trick. Shout out to Makita Tools. You know, that's an so we got the timing mark lined up. Now it's going to mess up again. We had to get some three inch bolts. They're the same size as your fender well bolts. Just so you can take that to the hardware store and get three inch ones then you can pull this off here you need to loosen this get the thing lined up there's a bolt right there it has to come out of the timing cover it's not on the edge it's in the middle don't forget to put this washer thing back on here Pull that out of there. That's how it should look. 
This should be not straight up and down, but to the left and pointing right to that housing groove. So we took this and lined it up with that vein. I did not have a mark up here, so I took a punch and I punched a mark right there. That's where that ends up, so it has to be right because we haven't taken the belt off yet. Well, hopefully the timing's right on the valves. And this is what we were looking for to see if this is making noise. This is not supposed to move like this. Yep. See, the engine's not messed up. Just needs another water pump. They told him he needed a new motor. So we've loosened the tensioner's nut bolt. And now we're going to take the spring off. We don't want to lose that. So this is what the shop said was a machine, was a rod knock. This is what they said was a rod knock. Here, spin it. And that's exactly what it sounded like too. Yeah. So it's not a rod knock. It just needs a new water pump. Okay, that bolt goes to the alternator. And look, that is recessed. So that is a recessed screw. And then that one goes to the timing cover. This one goes to the timing cover. These are all water pump bolts. That one's a recessed Phillips. That one's a water pump bolt. So one, two, three, four, five bolts, and then one screw. It's a Phillips screw. And this one doesn't wiggle. Yep, and there's the Phillips, the weird one. It goes in that hole right there. And it is tapered, Frank. How about that? All right, so we're going to put blue silicone on the water pump gasket and then install it. You want to make sure you clean off your gasket as well as possible. Get it all flush so there's no old gasket seal on it. Okay, it looks like pay attention to the screws because they're three long ones went here and the Phillips one went there and the two short ones fit here so I don't know how they really go in so pay attention to there's three long ones and three short ones so I'm assuming that's what I got so this is the tensioner the pin is the pivot point for it it's right there so make sure that gets on the pin so that goes right there bolt goes through it and then the spring fastens over on this side. Pivot. And the spring. Make sure you get the pivot. Right there. And put the bolt in. And they tell you never to turn this thing counterclockwise. That's only because the tensioner would not tension. So as soon as you get a, the belt on, want to turn it clockwise and it'll make this tensioner go as tight. Okay, I'm lined up here. I removed my spring and put it back on after I got it over this. And this is still on that punch where I punched it. So hopefully this doesn't cause it to be off one tooth when I turn the engine because it's this will tighten up. I haven't tightened this yet, so this is still loose there we yeah it's still loose all right so now i'm going to turn the engine clockwise and that should put all the slack right here and hopefully everything will stay the same this is beveled you need to put that on it keeps the belt from rolling off the crankshaft cam after replace all those covers you got to put this bolt back in it holds the alternator bracket and it also holds the wiring that goes down to the cam sensor which you have to reinstall. Okay, now this goes in and there is a pin right here that this goes in and then the bolt goes through there. This gets snaked in here. This is the camshaft position sensor. So that goes on there. 
and a bolt very similar to the timing cover bolts. And if you were when you were in here, there was a a little a little round gear with a teeth on it that tells this sensor if the engine is turning over and at what point is top dead center. And now we're going to put the harmonic balancer back on and verify that it's still zero. All right, so we started it to make sure we don't have the alternator, just got it so it doesn't touch the ground, just to make sure it's running. No knock. There's no knock. There's no water pump noise, huh? This bolt right here is the hardest one to get on on this upper cover. And then look, it says Mitsubishi, and yet it's on a Toyota. Now if this was a Mitsubishi, that that cam down there would have been a jack shaft and you have to line that up because it's like a got a harmonic cam balance shaft in it. But this isn't, so that's just the oil pump down there. So don't worry about lining up that crazy cam down here. This is the short bolt that goes on this upper one. The other ones are long because it's got to th go through so much plastic and this one's got to go through this and it's got to hold that. That one's got to go through so much plastic. The one in the back holds another wire harness. But this is the hard one to get to. All right, we got that one on. Now you gotta, like I said, don't put this alternator bracket on because this got got to get twisted in here. And then the really fun part, getting those bolts in there. So when you put this in, put the bolts in it. So to get these started, I had to reach right through here and then hold this at the right angle. Well, it's not, it's not dead level across the top and you got to hold it parallel to the motor. All right, so you, now you put this bracket on for the alternator. Don't forget to connect your ground wires when you're fastening these three bolts for the alternator bracket. All right, so we got those two on. Now we're putting the power steering belt on. It goes on the back, so it goes on first. All right, so you tighten this one up until the belt just barely deflects. Then you tighten up the fulcrum. Actually, I mean, at this point, you could tighten up the fulcrum or the adjuster, not bolt. And you want to tighten up the adjuster nut. Now we're going to move the power steering pump reservoir back in place. And it goes over here with these three bolts. I left them in there so I knew where they were. And then we got to move the reservoir for the, this is the metal bracket that goes on the overflow for the radiator. Well, the bolts are gone. Must have put them all back. When you first hook your battery back up, it goes nuts with the car alarm. Ready? Yeah. Look at that. So the guy was wrong about it having a rod knock. So don't trust the mechanics, because the mechanics will, they'll lie to you.